All right, good morning, Elite Family. This is Ty, and uh, let me just get right into it. So I've received some questions about some things, so we'll discuss that in a second, but let's talk about planning. So I live in Los Angeles, and we probably have the worst airport known to man called LAX, Los Angeles International Airport. So you book your ticket well in advance and you go and you try to board the flight and traffic is crazy, it's hectic. So just imagine if we all had to book our flights the day that we're gonna travel, it would just be, it'd be beyond chaotic, right? So that's how I want you to think in terms of this challenge. We have to plan ahead of time. This is not something that a lot of us normally do in terms of eating healthy plant-based. We gotta, gotta plan. So this is how we're planning couple weeks in advance here in December getting everyone ready for this so now that that said let's talk about cleaning out your refrigerator some of us have things in that refrigerator that is probably older than us right so the best thing we can do is let's just clean out the refrigerator and the freezer of all the unhealthy stuff that's in there because remember 2020 2020 vision that's how we're starting so that's the first thing starting today let's just if you have meat in the refrigerator that you definitely don't want to throw out, you want to, you want to eat, no problem. Eat it, finish it, makes all the sense in the world to me. But really, what we want to do is we want to prepare ourselves because when January comes, I mean, we are in this. I mean, like I told you, I'm in it with you. We are all in it. I got my people at the gym. They're in on this too. So let's just do this. So clean out the refrigerator, clean out the freezer. That's the first thing. Secondly, I get questions on what's plant-based. So I, people are telling me, oh yeah, I'm all about the challenge. Um, so I can eat fish, right? No, you can't eat fish because fish isn't plant-based. You can't eat pork chops. You can't eat pork shoulder, no pig's feet, no chicken. You can't eat any of that. You can't eat milk or drink milk, no cheese, which is dairy. We're going healthy plant-based. And like I told you earlier in another video, if you have any questions, even at the time, like if you're somewhere, you're out somewhere and you're wondering, is this plant-based? Just DM us. I will let you know if it's plant-based or not. So that would mean as well, if you come across some plant-based donuts. Yes, they're plant-based, but this is a healthy plant-based challenge. So we're looking to avoid the donuts, the donuts, the pork shoulder, the, the, the chitlins. If you don't know what any of that, those foods are, that's awesome. But those who, of us who do know what those foods are, they'll be there waiting for you February 1st, if you so choose to have them. So that's why we're looking to be as healthy as possible. Now, some of us have uh, an addiction to ice cream, like one of my good friends, he loves ice cream. So if you really do need ice cream, there's cashew ice cream out there. Like I said, I, I do want you to make it through this. It's only 31 days. You know, I'm talking to people, even family members about this, 31 days. Just think about how quickly the year has gone by. I mean, we're already at the end of 2019. So January 1st comes. Before you know it, January 31st will be here, whether you like it or not. But the point is, though, by February 1st, you can look back and say, wow, I actually successfully completed a mental challenge for the month of January. I feel better. My blood results are improved. And I actually just did something. I, I wasn't allowing food to control me because again like we're all doing this for different reasons but you know they're all positive reasons they're all reasons to move us forward into 2020 so that's what i have for you today any questions please leave them in the comment section i um, will continue to post recipes and i'm trying a lot of this different plant-based meats that are out there yeah some of them the texture is a little bit different than what you're expecting from meat, but what do you expect? I mean, a lot of this stuff is, well, all this stuff is plant-based, um, but these companies are doing a good job. I mean, I, I know what they're trying to do. They're looking to attract some of the meat eaters out there who are, are just so obsessed with eating meat that, and they do want to make, you know, some healthy, healthy alternative choices, right? So, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to keep trying. I'm buying all this stuff just to give it a try because I do want us to be fully equipped for January 1st, all right? Continue to follow us, Instagram, Facebook, check our highlights for the different recipes that I will post, and see you next time.